again. Just now. Eh, it was probably nothing. It's not like she's ever seen us before. Keep away. Keep away from me. I gave up the art of the sword. Please, let me go, I beg you. As you can see, Lady Yai, Domon has persisted in this state for some time now. He appears to see those who have lost to him in duels past gathered all around him to persecute him. Lady Ai, it must be a possession, right? This is nothing like him at all. In the past, no matter what came his way, he would always face it with a, a confident smile. Hmm. I'm sorry. It is clear to me that your sensei is not possessed by any evil spirit. But... Then d does that mean he... Hmm, yes. This is a change in the person himself. Unable to cope with the tremendous pressure he was under, he suffered a spiritual collapse. With his wits impaired, he finally descended into... madness. As one who is thrown into the sea, though he fights back desperately against his predicament, it does nothing to prevent his descent into the depths. As for what has triggered this change, I believe it must be the loss of his vision. For to be stripped of one's vision is to be stripped of one's... ambition. Stripped of his ambition? But Lady Yai, even without his ambition, why should he suffer such a dramatic change? How does that explain his descent into madness? Your school practices make you Shisui art, does it not? Stillness of mind, freedom from all agitation. <laughs> what a fine notion that would be if any in this world could ever hope to achieve it. There was once one who claimed to be indifferent to rank and reward and who fled enraged when defeated by his junior. And then there was an aged swordmaster who was aggrieved enough that he crossed blades with the disciple he himself had taught. Then, what of the one who crossed blades with his own sensei and beloved fellow disciple, and defeated them both? <laughs> Can one truly remain unagitated of still mind in moments such as these? Lady, I... I I'm not sure I understand. <sighs> The path of the sword masters filled with twists and turns. It is no small undertaking to pursue the position of greatest sword master in the world. It requires one to take their sword firmly in both hands and cut down the hopes and dreams of others, even those of one's closest companions. Only a deep commitment to his ambition to become the best made it possible for him to rise above the pain of these encounters, to focus on the way ahead. When that ambition disappeared, he began to doubt himself. As he battled his growing anxiety, he slowly descended into the state you see him in now. <laughs> Much like a certain fatally flawed friend of mine. Poor Sensei. To think he's been suffering so greatly. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Father. Sensei. Oh, I'm sorry. That's enough. Huh? Isn't that Onsai? Where did he come from? Did he follow us the whole way here? Onsai? Why are there two of you? Is that you or a ghost? You're here for revenge, aren't you? I knew it would come. I never should have. You're right to assume that my feelings towards you are far from kindly. <sighs> but I didn't come here to settle a score. It's been so long now that I made peace with it years ago. You did nothing wrong that day. I just... I couldn't face the humiliation. That's why I ran. I don't think most of the people you beat along the way would hold it against you. On the contrary, when you cut our ambition short, 
We entrusted them to you in the hopes that they might carry you further. Now I know that we can't place our hopes in you any longer, since you've been stripped of your ambitions too. But that is no reason to strip them of theirs. Follow the way of the sword all the way to the highest peak. You taught them that, didn't you? But what if one day, the same thing happens to them? I put everything I had into trying to become the best. But what if it was all a huge mistake right from the start? If there's a chance they'll end up like me one day, I'd rather they stay where they are now than go any further down this path. Have you asked them what they think? Sensei, after you rescued me from the hands of the pirates, I told myself I would follow in your footsteps for the rest of my days. I can't know whether I will suffer in my future as you do now. All I know is that here and now, in the present, I wish to continue. I want to keep going until the day that I can stand before everyone with my head held high and announce that I, like my sensei Domon before me, am a master of Meikyo Shisui art. Nanako's far from the only one. Actually, all of us think that way. Goodness. Well, I... You see? You can place the ambition you once had in their hands. Being stripped of your ambition is something that's never happened to me, so I can't claim to understand it. But I do know what it feels like to have your ambitions crushed. That's what happened on the day that you so effortlessly defeated me. So, just as I once placed my ambitions onto you, it is time for you to release yours into their custody. You are not in the same position that I was. When I left, I had nothing to my name. But you have a great number of worthy disciples. I... I understand. I'm sorry to have made you worry for me and for the state of Miyakyo Shisui art. I no longer have the resolve to become the best in the world. The emptiness and suffering inside of me will not abate, so I cannot hope to still my mind and be free of agitation. But as your sensei, I shall commit to imparting unto you everything I have learned in my life so far. This is my promise. And I humbly ask Anzai, my senior, to hold me to my word. You can count on that. I'd be checking in on you occasionally anyway, just to make sure you hadn't lost your mind again. But I am now used to the life of a wanderer. I do not belong in the dojo anymore, so I will simply stop by once in a while to make sure you aren't cutting any corners with them. Well, don't just stand there staring at me. Say thank you to Lady Yai and then get yourself back home. So even though his ambition was taken away, his disciples can take it over on his behalf. Guess that sort of solves this one, huh? Traveler, a moment please. Lady Yai has some words for you. So, my intuition was correct. The wind that blows from afar carries fresh life to these shores. For us to meet now is premature. Nevertheless, you set foot on these islands at precisely the right moment. Hmm, I have high hopes for you, child. Don't disappoint me. Ooh, Lady Yai seems to have taken a real interest in you. She seems super mysterious. Paimon's so curious what she really meant by all that. Hmm, we can come back to it another time. For now, we should go report back to Miss Kamisato. Yeah. 